So it is very late at night and everyone's sleeping and I decided to put together a sous vide french toast for breakfast tomorrow. So you can see we had some challah bread for uh, dinner tonight. Uh, so I just took a couple pieces. I took three pieces, cut them in half. So this is going to make six french toasts. Uh, and I cut them about an inch and uh, I'm going to leave these out tonight. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I just leave this on the counter all night. Uh, I put a paper towel over the top uh, and it'll get nice and uh, nice and dry. So basically I'm just going to take a bowl and we're going to start with eggs. So I'm going to do two full eggs. I'm just crack those in here. So these are eggs and egg whites. So that's one, two, and when you're making French toast, you really want to make it into a custard. Um, if you just use a whole bunch of eggs, you're going to get basically bread covered in scrambled eggs, which is not so yummy. So what I'm going to do is separate the egg yolk from the white. Oops, got that backwards. That was almost a catch. That was a catch. I almost emptied the white into the thing. Anyway, there's one yolk. Alright, so two full eggs and four yolks. Uh, and then I'm going to add about a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add about half a cup of light brown sugar. I'm going to add some vanilla. Uh, I like to go a little bit heavier with the vanilla. I tend to do about a tablespoon. And cinnamon. And I'm going to go about a tablespoon of cinnamon. There we go. Salt, and I'm just going to go with a little pinch of salt in here, too. Alright. little beating. Make sure all of the sugar and cinnamon are dissolved in. And that's it. I'm going to put a lid on the custard. Seal it. And off to the fridge. And we will put this together tomorrow morning for a sous vide French toast. So it's Saturday morning, good morning. It's time to finish the sous vide French toast. So you can remember I had the bread and I had it laid out so it could dry and now it's really nice and dry, you can hear it. So I'm gonna transfer it to a larger plate. This is super simple. And I want it on a plate that's going to be big enough to hold the custard when I pour it.
remember we want it nice and flat so all the air bubbles are going. And I am simply going to pour it over the top of each piece of bread, completely covering it and letting it soak in. Once I have it poured, I'm going to let it soak for two minutes and then I'm going to flip it and let it soak for another two minutes in the custard. Um, I want to make sure it soaks long enough that the custard makes it all the way through to the center of the bread. So there's no, so there's no just plain bread in the middle. So I'm going to let it soak for two minutes and then I'll flip it and then we'll bag it. I'll flip it, let it set another two minutes and then we'll bag it. Okay, so now I am going to flip these back the other way one last time just to coat just to get this side coated one more time. And again, doing this just so the custard goes to the center of the bread. Off camera, my wife is watching me making faces. All right, so now I'm just gonna shift these to a clean plate just so they can finish soaking up and draining off any extra. Oops. And that's it. And you can see there's little specks of brown sugar on those, which is going to be pretty good. All right, all done. Okay, I'm gonna let those set for another two minutes and then I'm gonna bag them. I'm gonna switch, or I'm gonna now bag this French toast into the bag. Um, so I'm gonna assume everyone knows how to bag for sous vide. Because I can't teach how to bag sous vide every single time. Let me do this. Jeez. All right. So one, two, Three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna seal this with the water immersion method, which I will show in a second. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the water. I'm gonna seal the bag up to about two inches from the end. Sure it's sealed nice. I'm gonna put my finger in to make sure the air can get out. And I take my other hand and I just push everything underwater. And I like to pat it to make sure all the air comes out or as much air as possible. And yes, there's a lot of air in bread, so it's gonna wanna float a little bit. Okay, I seal it and under vacuum. Okay. Uh, so I've got this set up. I've got the mug in the bottom to keep it off the sous vide one. I've got the bag in. I've got the steamer to hold everything down. And then the lid on top actually helps keep the heat in. So when you're trying to heat the water with the sous vide, um, the sous vide one, it keeps it warmer. And then also any evaporation that comes up out of the water as it's cooking. It doesn't really matter for an hour. But if you're doing a long-term cook, it allows the water to flow back in so you're not wasting water. All right, honey? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I plug in the, the wand and it's gonna come over here and show the last temperature I cooked at and we last cooked at 134. I'm going to increase this because it's eggs up to 175. And hit start. Now it's at 110, so it's gonna take a little bit, about 15 minutes to come up to temperature. I'm gonna start from now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let it cook for about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, and that should be plenty of time to get the French toast cooked. Okay, we've been running for about an hour and 15 minutes at 175, and I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, so like anything else that's sous vide, the halfway point or the halfway product is not pretty. Um, but we have to remember when we're doing this that sous vide is um, only cooking 
for doneness, it's not cooking for browning. So now we're gonna take these, we're gonna throw them in the skillet, brown them up, and then they'll be done. Okay, so I've got a skillet on medium, uh, we're gonna call it medium temperature, medium heat. Throw in your pat of butter, and throw it around, let it melt. Now my wife said, isn't this a lot to go through for French toast and you know, wouldn't it be easier just to do it the other way? What you don't really notice in the videos is all of this stuff is just step by step. So last night I put together the custard that took me, if I did it without filming it, I could do it in two minutes. Um, bagging uh, this morning, soaking and bagging the bread, I could do that in another two or three minutes. Um, the cooking, well, it's in a bag and it's sitting on the stove. I don't have to watch it. I don't have to mess with it. So I can do a whole bunch of other stuff around the house. So that's an hour. And now it's just basically dropping it into a skillet and browning it. So all in all, to make French toast, sous vide really only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, it's just the different steps that go in. And it might look a little complicated if you haven't done it, but once you get used to sous vide and how it works and, and the method, um, it's a huge time saver. To actually make French toast in one shot on the skillet uh, is a lot more work than this. So the butter is melted and I'm simply going to from here, open the bag. And again, these don't look appetizing right now because they are cooked to what you want the inside to look like, right? So you want the inside to be basically light and fluffy. Now we're just gonna brown them. And I do about a minute on each side, and then they're done. And I can already tell you the texture of these is perfect. It's light, fluffy, but it's still got enough consistency of the custard in there. So we're gonna let those go for about a minute and then I'll flip it. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna flip these. And you can see it's got a nice buttery crisp on them. Yikes. Might have my heat a little bit too high. This is what happens when you're trying to film and cook. Got a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, and I'm gonna move them around so they all get nice and buttery. And we're gonna go for another minute or so. Okay, so final step, I've plated the um, French toast. My kids don't really like syrup. They prefer powdered sugar. So I give them a nice dust of powdered sugar. Around. And that's it. Max, do you mind if I cut yours real quick so I can show what it looks like on the inside? Sure. It's this one. So I'm gonna just cut into it so you can basically see what it looks like on the inside. It is eggy on the inside, but cooked. It's not overly egged, okay? And it is delicious, okay? There you go, that is sous vide French toast, enjoy.